Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of the Rusev Card. I'm your host, Aramich, and I'm first off, I want to start the video off by saying Happy New Year to each and every of you. I hope you do have a good New Year, obviously better than 2020. Um, yeah, uh, I have ultimately ended up joining the team. I was considering, as I said in yesterday's video, I was thinking about uh, trying to start, uh, start up my own team, which didn't end up doing that. I did end up joining a team. Ended up joining um, Carnage. Which I'll give everyone a shout out here. It loads up. <laughs> if it wants to load up, that is. Try again. We've got KEG Zilla, AJ Panda, Ben 10, Jazil, KG44, Cram. Macho Matt, Seraz, Fadus Tribble, Ronin, me. Uh, we've got Deep and Rock Metal, go and check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he was the reason why I ended up joining Carnage, because I was, as I've said, waiting at my options, teams to join, or potentially even start my own team up. And he said, Go spot my team, I'm on, do you want to join up with us? But do you know what? Yeah, I'll join up with them, because it's been a good while since me and Eddie Brown teamed together. We've been teaming over on and off since season two. So. It's great to be back on a team with him. We've got Joe seventy five, Justin Kitts, Metal Forever twenty four, Siamman Yap, Furk, and if you let me scroll up, it's not even that happens. Oh great! So we've got uh, Siamman Yap, Verg, and Yoga. So yeah, we are, uh, do have first TBG. And do we have the team? Yeah, up against the Swamp Plus team. So that's probably a bit of a touch and go one. Uh, King Ring is just a qualifying round. Uh, don't know how I'll end up here. So yeah, uh, with uh, Ring Domination, Heroic, Undercard, uh, we got Triple H for the Behemoth, which is not surprisingly easy in it because obviously he's had some legendary rivalries with Mick Foley. And then the Swarm is Eric, which is a pro for me, but I don't really want to be grinding all weekend on Ring Domination just to get another Swarm Pro. And it, if I'm right, Eric's a rather low tier Swarm card. And I miss out on PvP, because obviously I do want to get uh, for momentum. Obviously if St. Mick was a pro for me, obviously that would uh, be my main focus, but he's not a pro for me. So... Uh, what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to get um, Cameron Grimes and Tomasa Champa and then focus then on Elimination Chamber to get uh, full slots again for this week. Enjoying having full slots, not going to lie. So, yeah, uh, I have got uh, my second Swan Miz and second Swan Murphy in my Ring Domination deck to obviously get them pro and then. I'm not sure if any of my other Swamp Pros have got one count which 100 games if they have, then obviously I'll put them in. If not, I'll probably put the two Drew McIntyre Swamp cards in because he's the best rated out of the rest. So, yeah, Miz is going to be good. So, I'm going to check him. Actually, no. We'll go with Murphy because I've got more up arrows in. So, then he takes with Roman. I didn't play an awful lot last night. I think I got one shot last night. I've got one again today. Obviously, with being at New Year's Eve last night, uh, yesterday, I did uh, spend most of that with family. So, hence why I uh, didn't uh, play much. But now, I've got the uh, time to. And obviously, me just going for the swarm and behemoth and the cards. Don't need to grind an awful lot because you start off in 32 shards on the swarm card if you're in behemoth and then uh, you have obviously the full amount 36 on the behemoth and the guard. I was uh, qu quite happy as well when I seen the log rewards for this month because I was act for once I was actually uh, did something right. I was as you know I said I'm gonna wait. Oh great, great start. Um, I was, uh, I did say I was going to wait uh, 
for LMS2 Pro, obviously, which you might hear, uh, Behemoth and Pro uh, level up both uh, Biomechanical Pro Naomi's, which in the end it turned out to be a smart decision because next week, in fact, is the first last man standing of season 7. Then we got, seems like we've got Flash Ring Domination and Road to Glory because we've got Ring Domination, and then two days later we've got Road to Glory, which obviously that indicates it's going to be a Flash event. And I'm happy with that to drop light because if I'm right, I need just one, maybe two more, and then I can start my last uh, fusion for the pro promotion. Fusion promotion does in fact end. Uh, I've, I admit I have had bad luck with the Make It Light fusions. Like I've had one pack from the Make It Dad, which was Swarm Kamala, and then I've had uh, Drake Maverick Swarm from the Make It light and I've had a few biomechanicals as well but I have been trying to get more make it back fusions done because I do prefer having the extreme cards to um, the Christmas cards um, so yes yeah, so hopefully I do get something good out of my last pack of those when I say no to a uh, swap Kamala Pro Obviously, I'm kind of an ex. I, when I got the uh, Behemoth Pete, and I was kind of hoping to get some extra luck and get her. But me, that's not going to happen. Hopefully, I can get the W here with the overrun. Yep, there we go. I'm not sure if overrun stays on the stats after the bout. I've had more overrun. Overrun is bloody OP, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Biggie doesn't have overrun, so I won't bear it with him. It's mad how I can go from uh, losing a game to potentially having a perfect win in the very next game. As long as they go there and there's some random you can beat, nobody don't, so let's chuck the Drew McIntyre behemoth in there. Um, so yeah, I am planning on going for uh, the LMS event card, and then obviously I, I'm going to try and get the event card from the Flash events, which I'm um, kind of think I'm thinking about potentially going for half heroic from the flash events because you know that's when I tend to get half heroics. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens there, and then we should be having after the two flash events we should be having uh, a new tier. So hopefully I can get some Pima uh, Pro soon, or just get uh, hopefully I can get the LMS card and. Um, what to call it, the uh, Flash event card. And obviously, but after LMS, then I'll have Drew uh, Broad and Naomi Broad. So, yeah. Hoping to obviously make uh, Royal Rumble here for the start as well. I won't be surprised, no, they won't be able to do it with the Flash Bring Dom and RTG. So, obviously, I won't be surprised if um, they put the Royal Rumble card in um, the event like they did last year with the Royal Rumble Drew McIntyre but that they would do that for a flash bring down or RTG because obviously the first, uh, the first event then after it's like red and it says something things some, so long as like something special happens this day or whatever which it's in red it makes sense Royal Rumble here uh, so yeah um, First event, and after that is Giant Solis, which is a rather easy event for first event with a new tier. It could be worse, it could be War Games or it could be Road to Glory, but luckily for everyone, it's not. Obviously, that's unless they do uh, bump up the points even more. They only tend to bump up the points even more when like, your points you get from attacking the Giants goes up, which is obviously understandable because you don't want to be completing the event way too easily. Like, I managed to complete the Giants and East. For was it true? Yeah, it was for Pro Drew, wasn't it? I managed to complete that rather e easily, to be honest with you. Which I know says a lot coming from me. So, yeah, I'll show you my LMS deck. Uh, at the m well, my LMS deck's up like at the moment. I could have done for that deck there. Not bad one. I'll show you that. Um, perfect time when I make four cards away from the card limit. So, yeah, if you go to deck editor, when it decides to load. It is kind of annoying with 
I was using blue stacks instead of mobile is it does take a while on times to load. It really does not want to load, does it? See here is rather balanced, obviously Goon will be replaced by my next Swarm Pro. Then I've got the Behemoth Peyton Rice, the Biomechanic and Naomi, F1 Shayna Basil and F1 KV Ray, which if need be I will chuck momentum on them too to boost them up a bit. But if not, obviously then I won't worry about it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today guys. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below for more and obviously turn post notifications on for all future videos. As always don't forget peace out. Take it easy, guys.